let's talk about restring an electric guitar. When you buy the guitar strings, some of them come in independent sleeves for each string, but some of them are just grouped together like this, and then on the back of the package, they're color-coded, right? So here, I'm gonna change the sixth string, the low E, and uh, it says here that it's the color of brass, right? So I, out of all my strings here, I see the one that's brass, right? And so, that's the one I'm gonna use. So I unravel the string, and then in the guitar here, you know, every, every electric is maybe a little bit different, but um, similar concepts, right? Here, we have six, six holes where the string is gonna go through. And there's, here's a really good reason why not to take off all the strings, because now I know, it's simple. It's the only one that doesn't have the string in there. So I'm gonna put the pointy side in, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it through the saddle here, right? I want it in between there, and I make sure that the ball end is all the way, sitting in nicely. And now I'm gonna bring it through onto the post. Now here, I just wanna make it look like all the other strings, right? So if I start turning the wrong way, well now this piece is, is going to the opposite side of the string post. So that's, that's an important thing. That's another good reason why to leave all the strings on, right? And you can use your trusty little string winder tool slowly bring the string up to the right pitch and tension, right? So, I'm pretty close. And uh, now I can just cut off this extra piece that's left here. I don't want to cut it too close to the hole here. I want to leave just a little extra on just in case. That way I have a safety net there, a little guard, you know? So I just cut that off, throw this out, and that's it. That's how you restring an electric guitar.